Hey guys, it's Camille again. Right now we're going to talk about more ideas for Gordon B. Hinckley chapter 8, which is we look to Christ. And I know a lot of you are stressing out about this lesson, partly because it's on Easter and partly because it's such an important topic. But you guys, stop worrying, okay? This is the best chapter to teach because essentially the entire time you're going to be testifying of Jesus Christ. And if you're testifying of Jesus Christ, the spirit is going to be there and it's going to be probably one of your best lessons. So let go of your fears and give them to Christ and just teach. Okay. All right. Ideas. So first of all, there was this um, question that President Hinckley brings up in one of the sections, and it's called, it's, what shall ye do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? So, what should you do with Jesus that is called Christ? And so break it up on the board with different categories, and you can do it one of two ways, and I'll kind of show you both ways, okay? So, first of all, you can break it up into um, kind of locations or, you know, sometimes we segment our life like that's my work life that's my church life this is my home life and we kind of treat them a little bit differently and act a little bit differently and so what you can do is break it up into those kind of categories on the board so at work in my car things like that and so and then ask the question what would you do with Christ in the car and uh, what would you do with Christ at work in you give everybody a post-it I love post-its and have them just ponder for a few minutes, okay? Um, <clears throat> think about the answer and say, I want you to answer one of these situations. I don't care which one you do, but answer one of them. What are you going to do with Christ um, in your room? What are you going to do with Christ at work? What are you going to do with him? Because those are the questions that he asked. And have them write their answer down. And those that are willing and not as shy <laughs> can come and take their post-it and put it on the board and they don't have to put their names on them so no one has to know it's them unless they have like really distinctive handwriting right you can just put them up and you can read a few of them you can see which ones people answered more and why was that one one that we answered more is it because that was easier to answer or is it because that's where most of the women in your or men in your class are you know is that what they're doing most of the time and so you can talk about them that way. But then you can ask the same question, what should you do with Christ, but um, a little bit different. So what should you do with Christ's parables? What should you do with Christ's atonement? What should you do with Christ's teachings? And so you can break it up that way. And then have people answer that as well and then putting up their post-its and read some of them as well. Just asking those kind of questions, allowing them a minute to testify, to think about how they're applying it to their lives and have that type of application. All right, number two. I really love this one. I was reading, here we go. I, I have multiple callings, you guys, okay? And so one of my callings is a wolf den leader, and we were teaching them knots, and I was trying to figure out a lesson to go with it, and I was, then I was reading chapter 8 because I was working on that for you guys, and I came across the perfect scripture, and it ties it all in. So you guys can use this object lesson as well, okay? So I have a rope, and when you climb a rope, is it easier to climb a rope if it's straight like this, or is it easier if there's knots in it? And the answer is, it's easier if there's knots in it because every once in a while you can kind of rest your feet a little bit on the knots or it's easier to grip, okay? And so there's a scripture that says, um, be not faithless, but be believing. And there's one that also says, doubt not, fear not. And so the more doubt knots, the more fear knots, the more be not faithless but believing the more knots that you have in your rope almost like the iron rod the easier it is for you to look to Christ and so you can use that kind of example in your class um, the easier every every time we choose Christ over something else the easier it is next time every time that and, and vice versa and so obviously we want to have lots of knots in our rope <clears throat> another thing that I was thinking of, I love President Hinckley. He always talks about the North Star, and that was a big part of a lot of his talks. And the thing I love, so talk about the North Star a little bit. Why is it, why did President Hinckley talk about it so much? It's because it was a constant, right? 
the world can spin around, but the North Star is always north, right? It doesn't matter what the world does, it's always where it's supposed to be. Um, and obviously you can relate that to our lives and how we can always look to Christ. He's constant. He's our constant star that we can always look to and that we can always go towards. Okay. All right. Uh, another idea that I had was, um, thinking about kind of Satan's tactics. If we think about battle, you know, what are some of their strategies, techniques? They have spies. They have people with misinformation. Um, they have people that attack from behind, you know, those types of things. You know, what are some battle techniques? And then relate that to some of the things that Satan does for us. What gets in our way of looking to Christ? And so I was thinking about that, but then I was thinking about, okay, so if we continue our gaze towards Christ the entire time and we're not going to move our head what is going to come in front of us then? And so sometimes they might be those stumbling blocks, but then we can change them into stepping stones, right? But if you think of glasses, or like at the eye doctor, you know how they flip it every a little bit more each time and it kind of changes your view a little bit. And so um, you can kind of use that example if you have glasses that you can bring and filters that you can bring in front or, you know, things where you can flip it um, what our head stays that way, but things are coming in front of us. So how do we tear down those things in front of us? How do we keep our pathway clear? Those types of things, if that makes sense, okay? And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, I've been sharing with you, and I know you've heard from a lot of other people, the Prince of Peace um, initiative from Mormon.org is what we're focusing on this Easter. And since this lesson for a lot of you are teaching on Easter Sunday, and even if you're not, you can still tie this in. Um, you can use this. The Red Headed Hostess has free lesson packets, especially specifically for Relief Society or for priesthood that you can use, okay? And this is one of the... Um, printables that she has that you can print off for free and I have the links on the blogs and I have a summary of all these great stuff that you can print off for the Prince of Peace campaign okay um but this is the scripture that it's kind of based on is the different names that we have for Christ and the last one is the Prince of Peace and so as we look to Christ we also gain more peace right and there's eight principles that they're focusing on and so you can use she has this and then she has like word strips and things that you can use to talk about those eight principles in conjunction with this chapter and how um, gratitude might take away one of those things that are in front of our eyes like I was talking about and how repentance takes away one of those things blocking our view and, and those principles help us um, stay looking to Christ but also knock anything that gets in our way of looking to Christ if that makes sense, okay? So those are my ideas. Just don't worry. This lesson, like I said, will be excellent because you're testifying of Christ. So even save time for others to testify of Christ and to have that experience. You guys are great. Keep sharing your ideas in our private Facebook group. Be sure you head to the blog to get the other helps and the printables that you need to. Have a great week.